if a student that already regularly studies the wisdom of Kabbalah skipped class once or even worse twice in a row you said that it registers on his spiritual yeah in his inner data of course it's registered there and it's harder for him twice then that's it it's the same as during the sin of Adam once he tasted the apple. He liked it, but the first time when he only tasted it, it wasn't forbidden yet. It wasn't a sin yet. Because once he didn't know what that is, but the second time when he already knows and he wants it and he can't keep himself away, he can't hold himself back and he goes for it, that's called a sin. And we even see it in... Uh, in our courts of law and so on that you know it's taken into consideration first time person couldn't foresee something he didn't have this inner data registered in him about what will happen he couldn't foresee he couldn't guess what will come out as a result so the first time you're being kind of treated more easily more softly but the second time that's it because after the second time then that's really it you, practically, you can't stop him. There is this clear inner registration that it's good, that it's worthwhile doing, and I'm going for it. Thus, to skip class, then, okay, once it happens someplace, somehow, but twice in a row, no. By no means, you have to be really afraid of that. That is it. It weakens you to a point where you usually think that, well, I couldn't make it, it didn't turn out, that's it. You're downhill, back into this world. What does it mean to skip class? It's not to hear the lesson at all or to skip the morning lesson. Of course, preferably to attend the morning lesson, but there are people living in different time zones and thus I can't say anything. Maybe it's impossible for them to listen to the morning lesson. When it's morning here, 3 to 6 a.m. in Krasnoyarsk, it's already work time there. In the Far East, it's lunch. In America, it's evening. Maybe it's comfortable for them. But if it's in New York, but in Los Angeles and San Francisco, it's still work time. So you can't do anything about that. Um, you have to take into consideration that Earth is round. Yeah, but it, if it happens with a person, he comes usually from 3 to 6, and he's, he missed the lesson. And during the day, he, he hears the lesson. No big deal. If he couldn't, and thus systematically he hears the lesson during the day, then it's okay. We have whole such groups that get together at other times. A group gets together in the evening and watches a recording. And uh, for them, it's after work. Those, there are those that watch it in the morning because uh, when for them it's 3 to 6 a.m., here it's evening or night, it doesn't matter. Eventually, it's not that important to be with us together at the same time. If you're together with a group, that's what's important. At the very same way, you can download from the archive. If you'll download the material and you relate to it seriously, you'll get the same spiritual state that existed during the lesson. It doesn't disappear. It's all up to you. Yeah, but I mean, in order not to get confused, there are two possibilities. When a person simply uh, doesn't get up and misses out on a whole day, clearly that's bad. And there's the second option when a person he skips the lesson, he doesn't come to the lesson, even if he's in the same zone as Bnei Baruch in Israel. He didn't come to the lesson, but he listened to it later on. He didn't come, even though he, he regularly does listen, come to the lesson. Once, okay, twice, that's bad. Yeah, but I mean, probably everyone went through that state, or almost everyone, and that's very bad. Afterwards, it's very hard to prevent yourself from doing it again. Yeah, but what can a person do how, in the future? How should he behave? Don't infringe. Can't do anything. 
Uh, you're asking me foolish things. It's clear to, to everyone. Twice committing something, a person becomes accustomed to it. It's well known to psychologists and to anyone else. Next question. Yeah, yeah, but simply in order to, to understand this, you won't get any encouragement from me not to go to the lesson or this you can, this you can't, and everything will be fine. It's not up to me. I am telling you about a spiritual law. You want, you can keep it, you don't, so don't. What do you want from me? Nothing will help here. You understand? There's a law, and you can't jump above it. But if it already happened and you're telling me about this law now, and previously a person didn't know about that law, so how can he... If he didn't, then he didn't. It doesn't matter from this point and on. Yeah, but... Vladek. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm next question. Vladek, the creator is not a sucker. Do you understand that? He understands. So, well, I didn't think, I this, I that. It's a law. The Creator is the single law of the universe, of creation, of all the worlds. One single law. There's even this article by Bala Sulam called One Law. And that's it. All the rest of the laws. All the rest of the rules are beneath it. That law is complete bestow and complete connection of all the particles in creation that are interconnected into one organism, one, meaning there are no partitions, divisions, separations, grouping, nothing. That is the one single law, and we have to come to it. According to the following, the next law beneath it, which is the law of equivalence of form, it's the next law which is lower beneath it, the law of bestowal of all or among all particles of creation is the first law, beneath it is the next law, the law of equivalence of form where all parts of creation have to be like that main attribute, in equivalence with it, having to implement, realize that law, meaning regardless the state in which you are, you must implement within yourself complete bestow, complete connection with all the others, complete love, according to the explanation we previously gave. Whether you want it or not, that's what you're driven to by nature. Next law, gradual, targeted development up to that final state, meaning the complete preservation of the attribute of bestowal. You're being driven to it, corresponding to the extent or the degree of development that you're supposed to be on. You're given all conditions in order for you to develop yourself. If, using all these conditions, all these means that you were given, you develop yourself, you advance comfortably in a good way. If you can't realize, implement these conditions, including all that you're given, and from above, it is very clearly known, understood, what are you given, who are you, what are you, everything is taken into consideration, this whole locked system. There, all these conditions are included automatically. So if you don't realize it, then you advance in a non-comfortable way. That's it depending on whether you keep or don't keep and the extent to which you keep these conditions. Uh, you simply mentioned and said that it's possible to erase it only by crossing to the next degree. Uh, on the next degree, yes, there are different conditions, that's for sure.